This first demo is the most basic example of circular motion. The tennis ball completed one and a half revolutions in a circular path. In this demo, the mass is being pulled in a circular motion but with an angle. To find the centripetal force, you would need to find the x component of the tension. At first, the tennis ball is moving in a circular motion, but when it starts to run out of speed, the gravity of the tennis ball acts as a centripetal force and pulls it towards the center. In this demo, both the water and the bucket are going in a circular motion. The water does not fall out because the speed of the bucket is greater than the centripetal force. But if the speed of the bucket is not fast enough, the centripetal force will pull the water towards the center and the water will fall on you. This demo represents a car driving on a banked curve because the circular path is elevated at an angle. To find the centripetal force, you would need to find the x component of the normal force of the ball. The mass is being swung in a vertical circular path. The centripetal force can be found using the force of tension and the force of gravity at different positions. This demonstration is similar to the previous one, except it is being swung in a horizontal circular path. In this demonstration of a car turning, the force of friction acts as a centripetal force. In this demonstration, the spinning of the coat hanger balances the centripetal force and the centrifugal force, holding the coin against the end of the coat hanger.